Hello, my name is Abe. Welcome back to Dead Cells. Let's do a run and let's try... Ah, it's another... Well, I mean, I guess we don't have that many bows unlocked, huh? In fact, we might only have the multi-knock bow unlocked. No, we have the explosive crossbow unlocked. Um, I want to go do the next DLC zone. Should we maybe try a tactics build? We could do survival. I think we do have a few survival items that are ready to be unlocked, but why don't we just try, like, a, a tactics build? Get the bow. The bow's fun to use. I enjoy it. Let's do it. Although the quick bow... Oh no, this is not the quick bow. This is the notch bow. Double notch bow. Not really very good damage right now, but hopefully it'll, uh, it'll get better as we go. Also, I guess our, um... I guess our, um... Amulet makes it so that we leave burning oil, which is kind of cool. So I, I think I've already experienced the Fatal Fall DLC. I, I guess because all of those locations were like really high up. <laughs> Excuse me, apologies. For the sneeze. Um, that, that would make sense, right? Makes sense to me. That that's Fatal Falls and that the bad seed is going to be with the, the plants that kind of bounce you upwards. Go ahead. Which makes me wonder if maybe we did the DLC in the in the wrong order, because the, I don't think there was any requirements for going to the Fatal Falls. Like I didn't have to have any runes. I don't think for it. Frost blast. Sure. Get rid of the cudgel. We'll take a, a frost blast. Why are we being ordered to transfer the villagers to the prison? These poor people need treatment. You poor sod. Oh lord. Reverse order is the best order, lol. I, I think I've I think I've done it. I think I've accidentally gone in the reverse order without even intending to do it because I didn't know which DLC was which. But I don't think it's gonna matter so much. But yeah, I don't think that we really needed anything to um Great Owl of War. I don't think we really needed anything to access uh, this location, but we did need something to access the, um, you dick bag. We did need something to access the Fatal Falls. I think it was vines, maybe? Uh, it's been a while. It may have been vines. I will take the pie. Oh, you know what? I just realized that we can access another blueprint right now. This is not really that much of a point because we have a million blueprints to unlock, but I think there is a blueprint here in the Prisoner's Promenade that we should access. Well, can access, I don't know if should is the right word for it. Right, I don't have the uh, shield anymore. I have the other thing. Man, this bow is garbage. <laughs> I guess it's just, you know, starting equipment. All your starting equipment is gonna be trash. I do not want Spartan sandals, though. I guess we should probably maybe focus on um, maybe a purple weapon that's not a bow, because we did do bow last time. So we could very easily take something that's not a bow this time. We should probably do that. Although I don't want any of that nonsense. Frost grenade and another explosive crossbow. I mean, we should take it. Really? I mean, actually, its damage is really bad. Why is this damage so bad? I'm gonna take it anyways, but... Oh, right, I forgot. I've all... I guess, I guess we're gonna rock uh, explosive crossbow with this. Explorer's Instinct. Yeah, okay, so this is the DLC location that we're gonna go to. Let's uh, finish off the exploration first. I guess we are done. Uh, if we are done, let's go get the blueprint that I know of, and then we'll get out of here. And I, I think I'll spend my 55 cells that I have and try to get like a new piece of equipment unlocked, because we used the explosive crossbow. That multi-knock bow was not getting us very far. It was kind of trash, so let's get something else. 
Let's get something else. I guess I could recycle those for one penny. Um, this may might look a little weird, but we want to be here. Then we want to go here. And, oh, it didn't work! Maybe I can do it from here? No. I need to like, I need to find a way to stand up here, but to actually be able to have my head do the, the maze. But it's just a little too far. And I, I think when I pop the head, I um, lose my grip. No, you just, I think you just lose your grip after a moment. Yeah, okay, so you just gotta go fast. Just gotta go fast, okay, let's do it. That was not good. Right, okay, so do this, jump over. Okay, it didn't let me do it, let's do it again. Got it. <laughs> Disengagement, blueprint acquired. We stand in between the axe and the torch. If you do it like right here, it doesn't go up that high is the thing. Like it won't let me go up that high. Oh, it barely does, okay. So you can do it if you just stand there or you can do it if you're fast like me. Look, that one gold could be important, you never know. Um, also, hold on. Before we do anything else, I want to look at this real quick. Is there anything you can do here? He's gone into the lava. I guess he does, didn't want to come back after all. I'm definitely not going in after him. Can I do this with the head? With the head trick? I think maybe I can do it with the head. No, I don't, I don't have a double jump when I get off of the door. So what if I jump off of the door? Like, what if I do this? Nope. You can do it, okay. I'm not gonna do it now because I, I have, you know, a design for this run already, but we're going to do that at some point. Maybe we'll try that next run. We'll check out the, uh, the weird giant thing, which I don't, I'll be honest, I, is that how you go and fight the giant? I forget. It's been a while since I've done it. So let's um, let's go and do this DLC stuff, because it's here. Oh, ho, ho, a new arrival. So we know he has a key. Just a key. And a torn up letter. Royal Gardener, with all respect that I owe you, obey your orders or you'll find yourself in the stomach of one of the ticks. For all of our sakes, this is your last warning. Nothing of interest. I wanted to test it. So you do need to avoid them and then jump on their heads. Open the Arboretum. Let's go to the dilapidated Arboretum. Let's check it out. A well-prepared journey is the key to success. Get it, key? No. Well, 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 look who's here. Disengagement activates a force field if your HP falls below 15%, protecting you for five seconds can only be used every two minutes. An Owl of War summons a Great Owl Pet, 42 damage per second, activating the skill again will anger the Great Owl. The Great Owl disappears if you take any damage. Angers the Great Owl? So it's just like passive damage, it's kind of like the sword? You have a pet. Pet sword, pet owl, same thing. Okay, let's let's get some some upgrades here. Sickle, I kind of want to save the sickles for a green run. What else do we have? Snake fangs, sadist's stiletto. Maybe we can do some sort of a bleed poison build. We should we should probably unlock it because you know it would be nice to have. But maybe we should just get like a bow. What about alchemic carbine with the sadist stiletto? This requires 100 to unlock. Heavy, crass, heavy crossbow shoots several short range bolts at once. Nerves of steel inflicts a critical hit if hit at the right moment. Quick bow, critical hit if there's three or more arrows stuck in the body. I think, I think I wanna try the stiletto. 
and then we'll try to get the alchemic carbine, which poisons enemies. Now, it might be a two... Yeah. It might be a two-slot crossbow, but if it is, we'll just we'll work on it. Go ahead and upgrade it just so we have something. Victims burn when they die. I don't think we can re-roll it into enemies... Um, you know, I don't think we can re-roll it into enemies bleed, but we can probably re-roll the... F well, that's unfortunate. We can probably re-roll the Frost Blast to make it so that enemies bleed, and then that's how we can enable the bleed synergy with the state Sadist's Stiletto. They often noted that some of the mushrooms seemed to shrink from their presence, often frequented by the lords and ladies of the land. Go play outside. Okay. I'm outside. We also have, um, hello, my little mushroom boyfriends. Um, we also have uh, the fire grenade, but it does not synergize with the sadist's stiletto. We also have you. You know what? Hello? Hold on. I, I can't process what's happening there. I forgot about picking up this. There we go. Now we have that equipped. It's the mushrooms bo Mushroom Boy's dad. I remember you! All right, I guess you have one of those attacks. I remember you from the animated trailer. Hello. What do you do? He just like throws mushroom boys. German Gande, welcome to the stream. How are you doing today? Also, why are we going backwards? I'm gonna... Oh, that's just throwing a rock. So the red line must be a, uh, a mushroom boy. Might be a mushroom boy. Yellow line is a rock, and you can probably parry that rock. Okay, I'm, we're learning, we're learning. <laughs> Slowly. I like the enemies so far, though. Uh, you. There's a legendary piece of equipment here. That's what that shield means. That's the legendary equipment altar. Really didn't think that we would find more legendary equipment, but sure. Yo, please die. Thank you. Legendary blood sword. You know, this actually synergizes with the sadist stiletto, but I think we would rather just have the... Blood sword. We can always get another Sadist Stiletto in the future. I, I kind of want to keep the uh, the Frost Blast. Electric Whip. Inflict Shock. We had this before, right? It's actually really good, but Frost Blast is also very good. Let's um let's keep the Frost Blast. But I I I appreciate Electric Whip. Then again, when I had it, it was a legendary piece of equipment, but I still appreciate it, I think. We'll see the next time I get it on a run and take it, and it's not legendary. Morass of the Banished. Is that an exit? Already? I feel like we haven't even, like, done any of the level. Oh, you know what? He only throws the Mushroom Boys when they approach him. That's what's going on there. He doesn't just create them. Apparently, seeing the dead rise wasn't enough. Today, it's the plants that are up and about raising hell. The king's new best friend has ordered one of them captured alive. I'd like to see that. Botanical beaker. How did they get the skeleton in the bottle? That is a great point. Man vs. Wild and other botanical treatises are spread out on the ground. I wonder what's in this flask. I thought maybe I would actually get the flask, but I guess not. 
I think I've seen one of these before, but I can't quite recall. You have a backpack? Yeah, but like, I don't want to fiddle with the backpack. Although this is actually a good opportunity to. I could put like a shield in the, in the backpack and then keep it for like a boss or something, but I'm just gonna take the wolf trap. Let's play it simple. Hello, mushroom boys, they run. They be running. That's a teleporter, I think we've accessed it. It's lit up, so I assume we have. Oh, I saw that coming. Uh, let's upgrade purple. I forgot what we were going for. It's purple. It's also a freaking turkey. I'm just gonna take it. I don't, I don't expect us to take a lot of damage here. These enemies don't really seem uh, all that bad, to be honest with you. That's a broken beaker. Oh, you know what? When we do a ground attack, whoa! Okay, you hit me kind of hard. <gasps> Mushroom boy, blueprint acquired. Oh my God, the Mushroom Boys, they hit hard. All right, you know what? There, resist that. These guys are, uh, they, they like knock you back to an absurd degree, I'm realizing. So you gotta be a little careful around them. Hello, shopkeep. Spartan sandals and a cudgel. Stuns, oh, it's so good, but I don't wanna spend the money on it. I know I could put it in the backpack, but. You know what, we should go on the roof of the building too. Um, but we should also check this direction. That was interesting. Please don't get yourself crushed. Those freaking mushroom boys. They're so annoying. <laughs> I'm not, I don't normally do like bear traps Frost blasts. It takes me a little while to get used to this. But you are burning, which is very nice. Mushroom boys don't like you looking. Be funny if that actually is like their functional mechanic. Get out of here, mushroom boys. Get out of here, mushroom boys. Boys are back in town. This is a shop. Out of stock, minus 15%. You give me nothing? That wasn't worth it at all. It is like pretty easy to just Frost blast them and then just start smacking them. I like it. Okay, th up to 35 without taking damage. Oh boy. We're getting better. Oops. Mushroom boy outfit. There you go. Oh, you! I got stuck on the wall. I didn't go to the right side. Also, that uh, red line attack seems like that comes out a lot faster than the other one. I guess you got to be a little bit more careful about that. Well, this is a giant blood fountain. Times two. You know what? You can just stay there and die. It feels weird, honestly, having the, um... 
having the blood sword when I'm trying to go into purple, because blood sword is not purple. Mm, let's go survival. A little bit more health. I'm also noticing now that um, when they throw the mushroom boys, they actually do like a little whistle. So we should be well aware of that. How do we get in there? Oh, here you go. Oh, prison depths. We haven't been to the prison depths yet. Okay. Blood Sword is um, red. It's only purple right now because it's legendary. Or, um, yeah, it is legendary. Okay. Finally have a purple piece of equipment. May or may not go to the prison depths when we leave. I guess, you know, we haven't been there. It's a, a free floor, although I forget what you get from the prison depths. Not really much, if I remember correctly. I hate those guys. Explorer's Instinct. There is still a lot to do. There's also like a free pie. All right. I will take your free pie. Still have to make sure to check out the uh, roof of all these buildings before we go too, because I'm curious what might be up there. Hello. Oh, the, I didn't kill you? Oh, because I don't have a grenade. I have a, a turret. I thought I had a grenade for some reason. Five second rule in pie. Unfortunately, we don't know how long the pie has been there, but I'll still accept it. Ramparts. So we have we have options. Go to the shop and go down to the very bottom of the hole. Da, 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 da. Serenade is such a fun weapon. Hmm. Don't need it. So I guess there wasn't really anything there. A uh, few enemies remaining. We've been through all the doors. The morass of the... No, we have to go to the morass of the banished. What am I thinking? Why would I, why would I want to go to the prison depths? It's just a garbage place. Look. There's probably nothing up there, but you never know. Yeah, okay, it's, it's invisible wall. All right, fair enough. All right, let's go. Uh, let's go to the morass of the banished. Oh, you know what? That's not a teleport point. You can just teleport to there. Interesting. Hello, my friend. Sorry, just uh, you know, passing through. Like there is a guy up there though. I wanna I wanna go see him. Can I oh, I really wanna be able to get out there. Oh that's weird. The parallax locks. I really want there to be a way to get out. So that you can go see that corpse. But I don't think there's a way to get back in if you got out anyways. So Unfortunately, probably not. No, can't go to the corpse, Oh. Let's go to the morass. More ass of the banished. Yeah, did not kill 60 enemies. Mushroom Boy and Mushroom Boy Outfit and Loyal Hand of the King Outfit. Let's see, what's Mushroom Boy like? green scaling, although we could take it anyways. Spawns a friendly mushroom boy, which charges and interrupts enemies inflicting damage and damage. If the enemy hits a wall, trigger it again to inflict damage and violate your soul. All right. It's gonna take a while to get it, but we'll see. Uh, I really don't like any of my equipment right now. Still have the same stuff. 
Plus, if you're close to a deployed skill... Yeah, sure. Give me support. We're gonna be using this the turrets, I think, on this one. Dun, 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 dun. Gotta do some out-of-bound tricks, maybe, to get to the... Uh, the skeleton. Maybe I could have gone up the left wall. I, I only tried to go up the right wall. Mud is getting warm, so you might as well swim. Okay. Yeah, maybe I could have gotten onto the left building. Oh, this is this is a morass, I guess. Is this a boss fight? I hope not. Another invisible wall. Oh, it is. Except not really. Hey, stop hitting my turret. Got him. Oh, he has a back attack. Oh, he also launches, like, butt bombs. We killed it. Th that must be those, uh, tick enemies I've heard about. I have, uh, I have seen some information about this DLC and something called a tick. That might be a giant tick. You have a blowgun. That's interesting. I wonder if you have any other attack. Nope. I remember these guys from the Stilt Village, though. Don't forget you can freeze. What are you doing here? You also have a weird rush attack, which is interesting. And there's also trackers here. They had another attack I just saw, but I, I actually didn't get an opportunity to really see it. Hello. Yoink. Sorry, cursed treasure found? What? Oh. Do I really want to do that? I actually think we could. It will be a lot of just letting the turret murder things. <clears throat> Look, I also want equipment. Let's do it. Maybe not, um, like, garbage blades, but... I mean, they do way more damage than these legendary than this legendary sword. Man, this legendary sword is kind of garbage. Like, if they if they do a lot of scaling with two different um, two different uh, uh, skills, like brutality and tactics, or something, then maybe it can it can get good. But I think it's kind of trash right now. We'll put it in my backpack, I guess. Doesn't really seem all that good, though. You know, I could have killed him without using the turret. Oh, oh, oh god. I actually saw the, like, mosquito on the screen. And I thought the mosquito was gonna kill me. Legitimately. The, like, mosquitoes going left and right across the screen. I thought I was gonna die. <laughs> That's stupid. Oh, the, uh, wolf traps burn. That's dumb, but also my sincerely held belief up until about two seconds ago. Oh, I knew it! I knew it! I knew there was something in this room. All right, you know what we're gonna do? Come here. Gotta kill one more enemy. Oh, I can see him up there on the ceiling. Look, he's just kind of hanging out. Oh God, <laughs> he probably should have killed me. <laughs> okay, 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 moving on, moving on. 
Oh yeah, I guess the twin da daggers do do a lot of damage against a frozen target. You're not wrong. Oh. So I need to I need to make sure I freeze an enemy and then start smacking them. Wreath of plants. What do we have here? Come out, come out. Mushroom boy, four. Double damage taken, double damage received. No, because <laughs> it's like, I really do not want to die, so let's not. I might try it if it didn't have that specific modifier on it. You know what, I think this is a very nice weapon that we have here now. Take brutality. 2,000 health. It's something. Okay. So they, they do a, they drop down on opposite sides of you and then do a rush. So it's really hard. It's gonna be hard to dodge roll through them. Yeah, figured I'd get hit by one of them. I'm surprised they don't poison, honestly. Seems like something that would be like a good poison thing. How did I hit you through the wall? <laughs> uh, I killed him as he was rushing me. That felt good. I, I needed just like a moment to just run through enemies and try to kill them as fast as possible. I'm glad I did it. That felt good. Please go up. Thank you. Definitely not gonna hit um, 60 kills, but that's okay. I wonder if you get the same rewards if you do... Um... I wonder if you get the same rewards if you try to do the um, speed run challenge. Like, do you still get some, some, so, some, I was gonna call them souls. Do you still get some cells? What the heck? That's what they do. If you get too close to them, they try to flee. Yeah, I wonder if you get um, the same thing or if you actually do get like, maybe more rewards. Maybe that's where you get scrolls if you, uh... there we go, it wasn't working. Well, you suck. All right. Well, there's a lot of guys here now. Nope. Refuse to let you get away from me. I let you fire your damn dagger. It's another tick room. Let's go fight the other tick here. Excuse me. I, I saw him turn around too. But I still got hit by him. <laughs> it's gonna take a little while to get used to that guy's attacks. Noxious stink. They say what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. If anyone's been living off that, they must be monstrous. Just the smell is already lethal. Yeah, I've already seen him. I've already seen those horrible creatures. Blow Gunner's outfit. Is there like an outfit for every character or every uh, enemy? It's. Get down! <laughs> it's the heavy turret! That's a fun item. I like the heavy turret. It does a lot of damage. 27, 28. We'll go 28, please. Your hitbox is weird, because you should have definitely hit me there. It's actually two enemies up there that I can see.
A new disciple! Welcome to our humble chapel, brother. Are you willing to make a sacrifice? Prove your devotion! Mama, protect this lost child. Sacrifice will save you. Are you really faithful? Mama, protect this lost child. Okay. Vaguely religious, these symbols seem to evoke a holy maternal figure and a strange exhortation to consume wine. I don't know. But I can I can see the enemies up there. <laughs> There's two enemies up there. Okay. Nest. Oh god, it's a new boss. Are we done? We are done. Yeah, man, we've done everything, so let's get the heck out of here. I guess we need something to sacrifice. Could the Malays have spared this part of the island? Because I don't know if we have anything. Heavy turret. Blowgunner's outfit. Heavy turret... ...is so nice. I kind of want to unlock it right now. I actually can unlock it. Okay, I will unlock it. And 11 cells. Let's dump them into... Let's make sure we can have like a survival run with Mushroom Boy, Scarecrow's Sickle. And uh, we'll keep the turret. Does a lot of damage. Maybe we can get rid of the wolf trap. Victims burn when they die and the trap spreads oil. Seems kind of cool. Twin Dagger 5 plus plus upgraded to S? Oh, absolutely. Plus 15% damage, plus damage to a frozen target. Sounds good to me. And then honestly, upgrade these. Generates a toxic cloud, drops a grenade when destroyed. Who cares? Shots pierce, much better. Enemies hit by this will fall more slowly. Let's do it. If we're going purple, plus damage if there are no enemies near you. Parry, parry, or just heal up to 50% slowly when you kill enemies. I really just don't know what to take. Plus damage after you kill an enemy, I guess, is kind of okay, but so is vengeance. Just so that you don't take quite as much damage, especially on, on tough fights. And we are about to fight a boss, so let's, let's do it. Well, maybe this isn't a boss. It should be a boss. Since time immemorial, religious rituals have proven themselves to be extremely useful tools for eliminating one something. Oh, it's a boss. Knee deep in the mud. You, you! Oh, it's in my hair. Mama tick. Okay, so it's got the it's got a similar like watcher vibe. That's not the dodge button, neither is that. Hello, Mama Tick. Uh, I cannot really get behind you, can I? So that's like a, a close range attack. This just seems like dodge. This would actually be very good with a shield, I think. Because with a shield, I could just parry each one of these when the uh, exclamation mark appears. I feel like I didn't learn anything. <laughs> I just stood up against the tick and just started attacking over and over again, and it worked. We did get a new heavy turret. Five versus five plus. It's literally exactly the same because we've already upgraded this one to five plus, so just get rid of it. We do get the Scythe Claw, and also one of those which we don't want. Abe, did you see the exclamation marks? I was looking. There's just not a, a big tell, okay? It's hard, but I did, uh, I did see it. That's why I said it, with a shield it would actually be kind of good because you could just quickly Block, and then by quickly blocking, you would um, probably just block most of that damage. 
Scythe Claw, another um, survival item. Inflicts a critical hit if you previously used the other claw. So I guess this is another one of those items that has like multiple forms. Um, I'm just gonna like... Get him down and then we're just gonna... I'm just gonna, I'm gonna get items close to being unlocked. Dun, 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 dun. What's down there? Graveyard. Yo, we haven't even been to the graveyard. We should go there. What is this? Stilt Village. And is this going to be other DLC? Fractured Shrines. So let's go to the, um, let's go to the graveyard. We haven't been down there yet. And this seems very much like, like this, Passage of the Stilt Village in the graveyard. This is the same whether or not you go to the um, to the DLC area and fight Mama Tick, or whether or not you go straight to the Black Bridge. This is the same place. There's another interstitial room here. If you go down and fight Conjunctivitis, Conjunctivius, by going through the sewers, that is a different location. Um, cause it also takes you down to, it takes you to the slumbering sanctuary. But now that we have the wall run, wall run rune, we could go up to the graveyard if we wanted. Really? Nothing here. Boo. Now I have not been here in a long time. Rats always, always rats. Don't be a cursed chest. I'm just starting. Well, I killed that rat. I mean, honestly, maybe a cursed chest would be fine. Oh, Lord! So many enemies here! <laughs> It's a regular chest, thank God. There's probably gonna be cursed chests though. Let's be let's be honest with ourselves. Burns the ground when destroyed. I'll take it. Was there something else down there? Hold up. Oh, that just goes to the same place. Fair enough. I'm, I'm kind of running under the assumption that there might be a cursed chest at some point, so I'd, I might be interested in just leaving certain enemies alive. Just recycle it. Oh, what the heck? That's new. Uh, well, that's not what you were supposed to do. You, you create a electric aura of flies? That's horrifying. That was 30 enemies killed, that's surprising. To my late husband, there's another more recent inscription under it. To my daughter, to my son, to my cat. Everyone died to the infection. And it's sad. Well, bye. Do not want Spartan sandals. I like swords too much. They feel good. I want to hit things hard. Yo, I'm just, I just noticed I have no scrolls. We are, we. I feel like we are drastically underpowered right now. That's another pie. But hopefully we'll, um... Hopefully we'll pick up resources as we go. Yo, I'm actually loving the Twin Sword right now. We upgraded it and now it's freezing enemies every time I hit them. It's beautiful. Okay, this less so because of you and your, your hiding invisible enemies that I can see, in fact.
I'm surprised I killed the big guy instead of the uh, the rats first. That guy, by the way, he um he has a hook shot. He'll pull you into him self, and then he'll like kick you away. So you got to try to either take him out quickly or just make sure you're dodging the hook shot attack. So we got a key. We got a grenade, which we don't want. Already made it to 60. Oh my god, you're right. <laughs> What's, what's weird is that that just means there's so many enemies here. Because we're not even close to being done with this place. We just haven't even broken the surface. Required key, architect's key. Also. The heck kind of a grenade is that? So we need to hit the key, hit a button, that'll unlock the upper area and then we can go get that blueprint. But with the key, I'll just walk it. With the key, we can, uh, oh, you idiot. <laughs> we'll get the pie on the way back. Uh, with the key, we can open up the crypt here. The crypt key, or the graveyard key, one or the other. Thank you. I hate these guys. Really, I hate the um, the fact that they have like an electric aura around them. That would be really annoying if you were trying to, you know, avoid getting hit by things. Yeah, I, you know what I like about this combination? The Frost Blast has enemies hit with Thaw more slowly. It, it's allowing me to get multiple attacks in before enemies thaw, which means that I can I can do a lot of damage with the twin daggers because of the fact that they do more damage against uh, frozen enemies. Normally when you hit an enemy once, they have a chance of unthawing. That doesn't seem to happen here. No, no cursed chests. <laughs> I don't know, maybe I'd want it. Tombstone blueprint is pretty cool. I don't know what that is. So no spoilers, please. Especially for like new stuff. There is a cursed chest, damn it. I'm gonna get myself killed. I'm gonna get myself killed with um, those damn electric flyers, but I need the I need the damage, man. Yeah, I think I remember there being that guaranteed cursed chest here. Oh no. Hold up. Relax. You can't do anything because I'm on top of you. Your AI does not allow for that. You had to. No, you can't hit me. You can't hit me. You can't hit me. I love that the heavy turret does stun. Is this rat following me? Oh, he ain't. He might be following me. Kill one enemy. Ah! Got him. It's a blueprint. Be careful. Crusher. It's the architect key. All right, well, we'll go and uh, do architecty things. I will, I will get you. <laughs> We're going to continue to upgrade our uh, abilities, our attacks, because we still freaking need them. Hello. This is lava. You wanna know how I can tell? Because of that. Mechanism is keeping the door locked. Cavern. What a strange idea, building a monument underground. An artifact, an artifact shaped hole in the door. Not very subtle. 
Okay. Okay. I I get I'm you know what? This might be the path to the uh giant, actually. That's my guess. Because of the, the lava, really. Like, if there's lava here, maybe there's, like, underground lava passage connecting the two of them or something. What are your thoughts on Steam Deck? I don't know what that is. Is that, like, a new Valve product? Another dumb Valve product? <laughs> Thank you, turrets. Honestly, I don't really follow along this Steam development news, because who cares? All right, you know what? You do you, buddy. I'm curious if there's going to be like a cursed chest. Nope, it's just a choice. Hello. <laughs> you went pretty far. Uh, blood sword. What's the current blood sword in our backpack do? A thousand DPS. Man, that sucks. Just recycle it. Recycle it, recycle it. You don't need it. You know, I'm just gonna leave you guys. I'm probably not gonna take a curse chest because it, I do risk a little bit of not having enough enemies remaining in order to get rid of the curse, but we'll see. Undying Shores. Wait, we've been there. That is... Is that Pirate's Bay? Forgotten Spulker. I think Undying Shores is Pirate's Bay, so I don't... I don't think we care about that at all, really. It's the Valve Tendo Switch. <laughs> That seems useless. Yeah, give me the six plus. We'll just, or the six, rather. We'll upgrade it. Uh, still something else. I mean, honestly, you know, the only Steam product that I really use, and it's not even a product, is I use the um, app so that I can play a PC game on my phone, and it works rather well. But I don't really care that much about other, uh, like, pr like specific products, because it doesn't really seem that important. In the day and age of everyone having, like, a PC that they can just connect and stuff. I'm not in front of my TV all that often, so if, if that's what the, uh, the Valve Tendo is, then it doesn't seem that important to me, and also... Kind of sounds like an Ouya. You guys remember that? Of course you don't, because it didn't go anywhere, because it sucks. Merchandise categories. Oh, that's for me. Now we gotta do our head. Actually, I think we can get up there. You know. There's nothing else up here, but at least we got that. Okay. Oh, careful. <laughs> I think we're done. Other than the pie, but we have health. Let's go uh, heal later. Actually, there is one more thing we have to do. Oh, you know what? I wonder if you get the device to open the door. We could go forgot, or we could go Undying Shores. There is that uh, pumpkin boss there. Yeah, sure. Um, what am I trying to say? I don't know what I'm trying to say. Let's get the heck out of here. I'm losing my mind. <laughs> it's been a lot of, a lot of dead cells today. Flint, double crossbow, six plus. Oh, absolutely. You know, it does seem like the items you get here are pretty high quality. Okay. 
Three daggers, moonstone, amulet. Why you don't unlock the outfits? I don't... I don't want to unlock the outfits now just because I have so much other stuff to do. Like, merchandise categories, parting gift, causes a bomb to appear when you kill an enemy with a ranged attack. That doesn't seem that useful. Like, I got way... I got, I got enough stuff to unlock, okay? I have thousands upon thousands of cells to unlock. The merchants will offer a wider range of categories. Let's, um... Let's just continue to get things closer to being unlocked. Let's get them all like one away. And then when we do a run, we can just be like, let's do survival and then take some survival equipment or something. So Telluric Shock, leap in the air and violently land back to the ground. That sounds like fun. And it's also green, so let's try to work on that too. Okay, upgrade, upgrade. Shots pierce, shots pierce, I love it. And don't even touch the twin daggers, they're perfect. Dun 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 dun. I remember the Uyas as a strange man, yeah. The only unlock I, or the only outfit I unlocked was the Timekeeper, says Ultra Instinct Vsauce. Um, I'll probably unlock them at some point, but for right now. For right now, I'm, I'm loving what we got. I'm wondering why only some of these enemies release like a cloud when they die. Like a, a magic orb of, this is my soul. Ah, oh, you jerk, I see you. Do you even have like a normal attack? You may or may not have a normal attack. Oh, that's a nice little body up on the wall there. What is your go-to sandwich combination? I just like a ham sandwich, you get some cheese, you get some lettuce, you put it on there. Maybe you get yourself like some uh, some some nacho chips or something, you put that on your sandwich too. It makes a great sandwich. Get a little bit of crunch in there. Uh, I remember you enemies. I remember you enemies. Why are there so many enemies here? Oh my god, it's all the enemies that I've killed maybe? I have killed a lot of those guys. You know, because it's like, you got the, the Gravomancer here, who's uh, bringing enemies back from the dead. Maybe Gravoman is uh, bringing all these enemies back that you've killed in the past. Or maybe it's like prioritizing enemies that you've killed in the past or something. I don't know. Seems strange. But why are there mushroom boys here? That's what I want to know. At least they're relatively weak. Scratch the wall. No, hit him. It's a turkey. Let's go. Oh my god, why? It's not even that hard to kill this guy. Just murder him, please. Thank you. That's good enough. Dun, 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 dun. Keep upgrading tactics. We're actually getting a pretty good value on those upgrades, I think. Nope, please, thank you, thank you. You also had a, uh... He had a halo, too, which was funny. <laughs> when he spawned in. Oh, hello, Grenadier. How are we gonna, how are we gonna kill this guy? He is invisible. Oh, he died. <laughs> no, my, my, my locket! Is it still there? Oh, it's still there, okay. We've been holding this amulet for forever, but it fell down. Uh, the enemies that hit you freeze, oil, bomb, plus two survival, that's pretty good. I was gonna be a little upset there if, if because I accidentally knocked the uh, elite down, I wouldn't get my, my stuff. 
You though, you can just fall. Yoink. You know what, I'm also noticing these enemies, they have like a, a circle where they're gonna appear. They have like a similar mechanic to those uh, Nagas or whatever they are. From the from the the DLC level that's before this one, like I think they are. I think they're spawning near me, or maybe maybe that's like the uh, the the summon effect. Maybe that's like a little effect. Oh, it's that's humunculus. But maybe that's a little bit of an effect of the um, the necromancer bringing people back. I don't know. There, there's something going on there. I'll need to try to pay a little bit more attention to it. The apostates fled when they saw us approach the king is right. They must be behind that sickness. I'm staying here with a few of my men while the others are going back to the castle with all the apostate scrolls and books that we could gather. Maybe the alchemist can find a remedy in there. Doohickey equals bricks, eyeball, line fork. Remember that. Instinct says, I don't think I've ever been to the Undying Shores, even though I have the DLC. It's a fun place. It's like a, a weird ver vertical segment, but it's it's fun. I've had a good time with the uh, the DLCs. So far, anyways. I mean, you never know. You know what? The one thing that we don't have a lot of right now? Health, surprisingly. Don't hit me with your head. Gotcha. A homunculus hitting me with his head when I'm at like 57 kills would break my heart. Oh, hello, Mr. Necromancer. How are you doing today? Are there enemies in here? Don't think there's enemies in here. Just notes. Seems oddly familiar, that skull. I feel like there's gotta be more to this than just a skull. You know what I mean? Feels like there should be more than just a skull. I mean, it says it's oddly familiar, but is he saying that might be my skull? I don't know. Ultra Instinct says, I've hit five boss cells recently. I've been trying hard to beat it. It is a, um, it is a hard game. You know what, you are correct. Tactics does give you less health. So that might help to explain why we actually do have a bit of a health detriment. I think I did hit 60 though. I think we did hit 60 just before I took that hit from the, uh, the poison guy. So I think we're okay. Hold on, bench. The apostates didn't fare any better than the rest of us. Moments of consciousness are becoming rarer and shorter. I won't make it to the lighthouse. Maybe they'll find a decent place to rest down here. 59, I, I think I hit 60. Because I, I have the, the golden skull still in the bottom right corner, so I think we made it. But also, F that guy. I need to, I need to be opening up with the freeze. There's no reason not to. That's actually pretty important. Yeah, I guess, um... I guess any enemy that's been resurrected has the ability to teleport. There's an indicator for the teleport as well. So I'm, I'm understanding what's going on here a little bit more. You know what, just break this.
What did you do? <laughs> he did something with his lantern. Get out of here, mushroom boy. Has Abe, has Abe already unlocked Vorpan? If that's an item, I haven't even seen it yet. We're, we're, we're getting there slowly, though. Twin daggers versus, no, we are definitely keeping the twin daggers VS, which does almost 10, oh, more like eight times as much damage as that one does. Why is it so good? It's not legendary, is it? It's just, it was from a cursed chest, but why is it so good? I wonder if we're gonna find um, the doors again at some point. Don't need the ice grenade. There's actually nothing there, even though it looks like there is. Brutality. Raw health right now. Because, I mean, we have nothing that scales outside of uh, tactics. Oh, he put down a wall between me and him. What a jerk. I guess he has more than just one trick up his sleeve, huh? He's not just a, a necromancer who brings the dead back to, back to life. He also has other skills. Who would have thought? It's a pie. I like the music in these zones. Mausoleum. Let's look around. There's actually a, uh, a scroll enemy that I missed. Let's go make sure that that guy gets murdered. It's right here. Hello. Don't get pushed off the edge and lose my scroll, please. Keep scaling tactics, because, um, it's actually doing damage for me. And um, I guess there is there is no multi-choice multi, multi -choice door? There was the first time I was here, but I guess it just didn't, didn't appear this time. Yeah, hmm. Thought there would be, but maybe we, uh, we unlocked what we needed to unlock? Maybe I got lucky the first time in? I don't know. Or maybe you, uh, you have, maybe you have to go through from the first DLC zone to actually get that to appear. I mean, I got no idea. Okay, I got the teleporter. Imagine not using the Half-Life food set. Med kit and big med kit. Ben Jump, welcome. How's it going? We totally made it. And by totally made it, I mean barely made it. Uh, electric Whip. I really like Frost Blast right now. It's it's pretty damn good. Tesla Coil. Shoots lightning at nearby enemies and inflicts shock. Burns the ground when destroyed. Spreads oil. And victims burn when they die. So if we keep tossing out the Tesla, the heavy turret will do more damage. But the double crossbowmatic just straight up does way more damage. So, I mean, I, I think you just scrap it. You're right, I still have the backpack. That I never use. To be fair, like, I've never played with the backpack before, and also, it's not really all that helpful, because I kind of know what I want my loadout to be. I have exactly 8,000 HP, too. The inflammable oil will automatically set fire. Except it won't, because the trap will only burn when it dies. So I have to blow up the trap in order to, um... In order to, uh, burn the oil. But the double, double crossbowmatic has the same thing, burns the ground when destroyed. Also, I have not. Well, the heavy turret does do more damage against a burning target, but burning or oil burning, same thing. I'm surprised you don't. These don't explode. Let's be honest. The scarecrow. Okay. What? 
the heck? Oh, I guess you um probably want to stay away from those mushrooms, huh? I don't know why I thought that I wanted to be like in the mushrooms at all time. This guy is like really fast. Oh, he's really fast. Heal! Oh, I didn't heal in time. Oh, there goes the one up. I got stuck on the wall and on this thing. I was trying to like get to the corner and disengage, but it didn't work. Ironically, I needed disengagement there. Okay, Frost Blast, much better than the one that we have. Get out of here, you freaking, the freaking jumping thing hit me and killed me and oh, I hit stupid jumping mushroom. That was annoying. <laughs> uh. I'm getting stressed at this no shield boss fight. I, I love having shields, but I'm I'm trying to like mix and match a little bit here. Sometimes I'll take shields, sometimes I won't. But a shield would have been very good there. Scarecrow outfit one. There we go. Great Owl of War? Maybe we'll upgrade like some, let's get some swords going, like Scythe Claw. Yeah, I really like shields, and I really like having shields for fights. Oh man, is it time to go back to the distillery? Where, where did we go last time? I think we went to the distillery last time, so I'm gonna take that as an indication that, you know what, we can go to the castle this time. <laughs> I wanna, I wanna win a run as opposed to just die over and over and over again. Well, that was annoying. I didn't even see you, honestly. Yeah, I don't wanna... I don't wanna die in the distillery yet again. Cause that place is freaking hard. Like, really freaking hard. I have to I have to learn a strategy I think for dealing with the enemies is, is what it comes down to. Which I think really just means I need to learn the timing for the ticking bombs so I can just shield my way out of them. Raw damage also does help because if you have enough raw damage you could just um just kill them before they blow up. But it's still hard. I hate invisible enemies. Also, I hate you. Well, that was interesting. I did not expect to make the jump or to get the kill, but I wanted to go for it anyways. Getting like random bombs. I hate you. I wonder, can you, uh, I wonder if you could like dodge roll out of the laser beam. I wonder if that would actually work. Dude, honestly. The damage is good. I think we should stick with it. Heavy turret eight. It's exactly the same as the 6 plus, which means that when we upgrade it, it'll be better. I gotta like spend some time, I think, just grinding cells. Because we have uh, a whole lot of equipment that still needs to be unlocked in this game. I mean, it's interesting because it's easy to get it's easy to get turrets that do more damage against burning enemies, so we could just burn them. You know, this might be a situation where we just want to hold on to that and think about it. 
Ultra Instinct says, my personal favorite build is Rapier, Force Shield, Mushroom Boy, Ice Armor. I haven't even used Mushroom Boy yet. Boy, Mushroom Boy. Get over here, boy. I haven't even used it yet. This is the beginning. I'm not even looking at the map. I'm a fool. I haven't used Ice Armor either. I missed the double death orb meta, says Fredacula. That was my favorite meta. It's a turkey. It was a lot of fun to just rock double death orbs and like kill the timekeeper almost instantaneously. It's fantastic. You know what I do not miss at all? I do not miss having to stack damage reduction. That was annoying as hell. You'd have to get like multiple pieces of equipment that stack damage reduction. You can max it out at like 75%. And then when you hit that level of damage reduction, you could actually survive especially at high boss cell modes. But now, you know, things don't give you that much damage reduction anymore. They give you like 3%. So it's not really, well, that's unfortunate. It's not really a major benefit to stack it. Yeah, it helps, but it's not something you're gonna be building your run around. Yeah, it's just like double ice grenades or ice grenade, fire grenade was another combination and then with a shield, you'd have like 70% damage reduction. They can't turn around. I love the heavy turret stunning enemies when it hits them. Although it looks like this guy got resistant to it. That's interesting. No, I tried to roll out of the way. Oh, the rotating trap got me. It's okay, we got turkeys. Careful, you're gonna slide into the frickin' spikes, dude. Assassin's Dagger, Ice Bow, two grenades, four second cooldown. Yeah, it was f definitely fun, but I, I don't miss that meta. I'm, I like the ability of just being able to like, hey, take an item that's okay or good, even. You, you're not you're gonna be completely screwed if you, you know, make it to the, the boss and you're at four cell mode and you only have like 15% damage reduction. I, I very much appreciate the uh, the change. Well, that's annoying. Did he only get... No, I have something that freezes, right? Yeah, enemies hit you freeze on the, uh, the amulet. I was gonna say, if it only froze him after he hit the ground from the ice blast, I would be annoyed, but no. Hey, Zog Mech. Thank you for the resub! For 15 months? For 14 months in a row? You must have changed your name at some point, because I don't remember anyone named Zogmech. I, I hate to say it, I really hope I haven't just like completely blanked. Maybe I'm having like some sort of a an aneurysm or something, but I really don't remember a Zogmech. I don't. Have you hacked Twitch? You, you, you sub once and it reports that you've subbed 12 times? I lurk a lot. You like sub when I'm not streaming? I don't remember a Zog mech. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> Yo, those are big daggers. No! I hate the invisible guys. Just don't die, just don't die. You know what? Screw you, invisible man. Invisible man. No. Don't worry, he'll remember it now. That's also true. <laughs> Probably not gonna forget that name. There's still more to get. Um, don't get that yet. You don't need it. Don't need it. 
lurking is life. There's nothing wrong with lurking. A lot of people in my chat lurk, and I'm perfectly okay with that. Where are we going? This is not where I was supposed to go. Ah, oh, damn it. <laughs> We're gonna wait on that turkey, though. Gotta go this way. Wish there were a few more teleporters. That would certainly be nice here. Don't care about this. This is a lore room. What's weird is that that room always appears, and there's nothing in it. Like, there's really nothing good in that room. Explorer's instinct. Great sea troll. <laughs> hey, good troll if it's a troll. Okay, got a shield. Oh man, I'm not gonna take it. Like, I think if we take it, we'd be able to com like completely handle the boss, but let's just keep this frost blast that we've got. We've had it for a long time. I wanna keep it. It's a weird combination. I don't think it's gonna be good against the boss, because I don't think he's gonna be affected by the frost for long, but a whole bunch of strange flowers with an astonishing smell. Research notebook. The latest crossbeating produced no results. The extracts administered the volunteer produced a shapeless monstrosity, half man, half plant. Subject failed to survive. That would be a cool boss. Plant man. I'd love it if there was a plant man boss, why not? I love doing that in particular. You put some turrets down and then you just like break the ground. Explosive crossbow, my lord, that's good damage, but twin daggers are still better. Although we could probably upgrade the crossbow, but I wanna fight the, uh, I wanna fight the hand of the king with a sword today. I'd love to fight him with a sword and a shield, but I guess we'll probably wait for the uh, survival run for that. Yeah, you get free. You get frozen by the amulet, dude. I hate you. I I absolutely hate you. I hate you and your damn invincibility lunge. I like the slide animation when you go through a door. <laughs> dude, why are these weapons so bad? Is it? Oh, you know why the? Oh, you know why those twin daggers are so bad? Because the twin daggers that we have are scaling with purple. Oh my, it took me that long to realize that's what's going on. It's like, no wonder it always looks like the twin daggers are garbage. It's because they are, when you compare them. Okay, last chance. Slow down after thaw, victims freeze, damage. Burns the ground when destroyed. Shots pierce the first target, burns the ground when destroyed. I want something that does more damage against a burning target. And in fact, because I doubt that this boss is going to be affected by freeze, I actually think that we should re-roll the twin daggers to look for something that does damage against burn. And then we can even maybe replace the frost blast with the firebrand to get the burn out. But let's start here. Better damage against the bleeding target. Better damage against a stun target. Shots pierce. Toxic cloud. Toxic cloud. So now we have two toxic clouds. Can we reroll into more damage on a poison target? Plus damage to a target covered in burning oil, but nothing has oil on it. We have two things that synergize with burns, synergize with burning oil, but we don't have any synergies with them. Covers the ground with oil that burns when destroyed. Yeah, that's what we want. Well, no, because it covers the ground with oil. The oil is not on enemies. Also take minus 25% damage when you're near it. That's amazing. But maybe we'll see what happens. I don't know, I think this is okay. 
I, I don't think that he's going to be applied with burning oil. Downward smash attacks cover the ground with oil, but it doesn't say it covers the enemies with oil, so I don't think it's gonna work, but I, I don't think it's gonna matter necessarily. I didn't get the turkey! <laughs> I have a little bit of health missing. That's annoying. That's okay. All right, let's go fight you. Hello, Hand of the King. Prepare to get frozen. You damn shockwave attack. Yeah, yeah, you got me. I don't know how I didn't get hit there. Oh, I got stuck on the other side of him. I think that ugly worm just jumped into the pit and died. So like, fantastic. Let's heal. And get hit immediately by the shockwave. I think part of the reason why I don't love that shockwave is that it feels like it actually comes out before the shockwave comes out. It's like, he hits the ground and you immediately take damage and then the rocks kind of come up. But then also, it feels like you can take damage a second time when the, the rocks are already out. It's just like the hitbox on that is is a little bit messed up. Or whatever. <laughs> we defeated the Hand of the King, we killed him. We really should go back to the, uh, the distillery though and check out the barrel launcher again. I just, I hate that place. It's so hard <laughs> with those enemies that explode. Ah. Uh. Do you ever get to see the king? Yeah, so um, the very first time that you, ex you that you get to that locale, uh, the hand of the king is sitting there or standing there, and behind the hand of the king is the king. He's sitting in his chair. You defeat the hand of the king, you take his sword, and you stab the king with it. I don't consider that a spoiler because we've done that. It was the very first run. So you have met the king, you killed him. You stabbed him with his sword. You pulled a Hand of Fate 2 on him. So that is why the ground is burning there. Ultra Instinct says, I've always wanted to try his 0 to 5 cursed sword run. That would be very scary. But hey, run completed. We um, got some cells, we got some blueprints, we got things unlocked, we met a new boss, we discovered some ticks. And we defeated the Scarecrow once again. We got a lot of stuff to unlock here. This might be a situation where I do want to like grind out some cells and get some blueprints unlocked. I'll prop what if I do do that, what I would, would probably do is just get the um get the blueprints to like one cell remaining to unlock it, and then we can actually get new items on runs in the future. But for now. Go to run a dead cells. We met some new uh, some new enemies. I'm gonna have to uh, check out those ticks again at some point in the future too, because that seemed like a that seemed like a fun boss that I didn't really get too much opportunity to really discover a lot about. You know what we should do? We should go and fight the Watcher again. I say the Watcher. It's uh, Conjunctivius, the big eyeball enemy in the toxic sewers. We should maybe go down there and fight him again because he's a fun guy to fight. Um, but we'll do that later. For now. Thank you very much for watching. For, uh, for those of you on YouTube, thank you very much for watching. Like the video if you've enjoyed it, subscribe for more, check me out on Twitch for when I go live, support me on Twitch, Patreon, and Streamlabs, and I hope to see you here again for the next run of Dead Cells.